Over 50 years ago, the World Health Organization declared that access to quality health services is a fundamental human right. Yet today, 400 million people in Sub-Saharan Africa and South Asia depend on health facilities that have no access to electricity. The consequences are real. 70% of medical devices cannot be used in developing countries due to unreliable power supply. This means no baby warmers. It means mothers giving birth in complete darkness, no sterilization, and in the time of COVID, no refrigerated vaccines. But there is a solution ready to scale. Decentralized renewable energy, mini grids and rooftop solar can solve these challenges quickly and cost effectively. But solar electrification of rural healthcare centers only works with collaboration between key stakeholders, including energy companies, NGOs, health and energy ministries, and donors. COVID-19 has created a common enemy and a sense of urgency to act. In India, Power for All organized a national action roundtable empowering rural healthcare with clean energy. We brought together 20 organizations from the energy and healthcare sectors to focus on achieving better rural health outcomes powered by distributed clean energy. By bringing together these actors for the first time, we started to build a national consensus on the necessary steps to solving the problem and the action required. And this is just the beginning. Besides developing a clear action plan for India, including working with partners in high impact states, we are also now beginning to roll out similar efforts across Sub-Saharan Africa. Join Power for All to ensure that all rural healthcare centers have sustainable, affordable, and reliable access to energy and medical devices to make sure that universal healthcare doesn't have to wait another 50 years.